This is the Chicago History Museum. Everything you could ever possibly want to know about the Windy City is housed within the four walls of this institution. But you can read every page of every volume, visit every exhibit, and talk to every docent, you still won't find what I'm about to do. What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and welcome to day number one of my daily vlog challenge, something that has never before been done in Chicago. Over the next seven days, we'll be hanging out in the Windy City, telling stories, having fun. You know how we do. But before we kick things off like Robbie Gold, make sure you finesse that like button. By the way, it is 27 degrees right now, breezy, and I'm on the lakefront. It is absolutely frigid. That's how you know I'm super committed to this daily vlog challenge. Y'all already know. This is what it takes to be a YouTuber in Chicago, just so you know. The weather's not gonna always be your friend. <laughs> All right, so why am I doing this vlog challenge? And more importantly, what can you expect? Doors open on the left and late. All right, obviously I know that this isn't the first daily vlog challenge on YouTube, so I think it's appropriate to say that I've been inspired by creators that I follow closely and look up to. And I also know that this is gonna be an incredible challenge. I'll be writing, filming, editing, and uploading every single day for a week. But there's one major obstacle standing in my way. For the past couple of years, it's taken me weeks and sometimes months just to produce one YouTube video. I'm also well aware of the potential of burnout when it comes to daily vlogging. But even though there are some potential downsides to this daily content creation, I'm doing it because I know there are also some potential humongous benefits. We're in the Chicago Cultural Center, which was once the main branch of the Chicago Public Library. I needed a little bit of a break from all that cold and wind, so we're stepping inside just to warm up and admire some of the beauty of this place. If you would have told me at the beginning of the year that I'd be closing out 2022 with a daily vlog challenge, I probably would have laughed at you. But over the last couple of months, I've really had to do some searching and figure out where I want to go as a content creator and as a YouTuber. Yeah, that's what's up. For the better part of the year, I was creating the same type of content over and over and over again. And things started to feel stale around summertime. As I would write a new Chicago, NYC, London, neighborhood guide or food tour, I knew in the back of my mind that I really wasn't pushing myself creatively. And of course, that's why I launched this YouTube channel in the first place, to express and grow my artistic vision. After we launched our Lincoln Park Neighborhood Tour slash huge channel announcement, I felt a weight lifted off of me because up until that point, I was stagnating as a YouTuber. And since that announcement, I've been working day and night on the new direction of this channel. By doing this daily vlog challenge, I'll really be able to start revving the motor in the new direction. Kind of like the, Zamb <laughs> kind of like the Zamboni behind me on the ice. So what kind of content can you expect over the next seven days on the channel? Yes, I ducked into the Cultural Center once again to warm up. Don't judge me, it is really cold outside and windy. As you can see, I was just in Millennium Park, vlogging my thoughts, becoming a better YouTuber, which is what this all is about. <laughs> but part of that is, you know, staying nourished. And right about now, the old belly is telling me, hey, Louis, I'm almost on E. So let's go ahead and find the nearest food hall. Right, we're heading into urban space. I will do the regular Happy Lobster. All right, so we made a lunch stop to urban space on Washington, just west of State Street. And uh, what I have here in my hand is a sandwich from Happy Lobster. This is a Chicago lobster roll company. So this is their version of a lobster roll. It comes on a hamburger bun. I mean, look at that lobster. It speaks for itself. There's some mayonnaise and some garlic butter as well. And uh, I worked out earlier. Uh, I did chest and shoulders today. 
I got the vaccine a couple days ago, so I'm really hungry. Let's go. This is a great lobster sandwich or lobster roll, whatever. It's, it's incredible, delicious. Also comes with some crinkle cut fries. That's Narissa's favorite type of fries. So I'm gonna see if I can bring her home a few. Double espresso from Stan's Donuts, still here in urban space. You know what it is, a meal followed by coffee. Not much better in my book. Cheers. Oh, I'm not gonna drink it right now. I literally just picked it up, so. Just imagine me, or oh, I'll put some B-roll over this, but I actually am sipping it because it's, it's too hot right now. So like I said, for the past month or so, I've been in the lab cooking up my latest album. Wait, I mean brainstorming concepts and ideas for YouTube videos. We are preparing for a huge 2023, and in my opinion, there's no better way to do that than to get started before the new year even begins. During this process, I've come up with stories that I wanna tell and the ways that I'd like to tell them. But when you're in the midst of completely changing things up on your YouTube channel, it's not exactly a walk in Grand Park to figure out exactly how and when to execute these ideas. In the meantime, I've been consuming a ton of YouTube content and as I've been doing this, the daily vlog challenge has come into focus again. I believe this daily vlog challenge has come at the perfect moment in my YouTube career. So in a way, I have to do it. As the great Daniel Burnham once said, make no little vlogs, for they have no magic to stir the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching vlog number one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you mañana. Peace.